Welcome back to another tutorial on generative design. It's an AI tool that's launched in Autodesk Fusion 360 recently. And we're going to do something practical. I'm going to start at the end here and show you this wire harness design that I used AI to generate. And also want to point out that any of these generative designs that you use the automate tool on you can edit them uh, using the form editing tools okay so those form editing tools are still available nothing that AI designs in fusion represents a dead end you could still make changes to it now let's also have a look at the predecessor. This model I parametrically designed uh, using a sketch. You can see this looks something similar to what parametric designs would look like. Um, not very organic in shape and a lot of square or rounded edges that have some sort of uniformity or symmetry. And now we're going to move into the process. I want to show the entire process of how to use generative design to create something practical. Today we're going to start with our wiring harness. We do have to know surfaces that we want to join and bodies that we want to avoid. So I'm going to create a cube that is three quarters of an inch on all sides and that's going to get us started and I'm also going to create a cylinder on that same plane and we're going to want that to be three quarters of an inch Uh, let's go ahead with the whole one inch, one inch cube cylinder on that. And we'll also do 0.75 on the depth. Now I would like to have a look at this plane here and go ahead and create another box. And this box represents the area that I intend to avoid surfaces that I intend to avoid and I'd like to pull that back this other direction instead of a cut I want it to be a new body that exists by itself and I'll say okay so we're gonna move into automate automated modeling Faces to connect. So let's start all the way on this opposite side here. We'll pick these two. This is the part of the desk. This represents part of the desk that we're trying to snap the wiring harness to. And that is the carriage that the wires will rest inside. So we want to connect those four faces. The bodies to avoid is this new body that we just created here so that we have an opening and we would like to generate some shapes. Now, you have to know some information in advance in order for this to actually work. Uh, having just like a guess and click approach in Fusion is still very punitive, even if you have the assistance of AI. Just like any other AI tool, it is only as good as the information that you feed it. So, if you're feeding it pretty decent information, you could get some decent results. And that's a rule of thumb for pretty much any complex system. Now, I want to have a look at each of these in the thumbnail version. Uh, alternative 1, you can see, has kind of a bizarre shape there in the middle. Uh, bent shape. Alternative 2 is a little bit more uh, uniform in shape. Alternative 3 
uh, kind of a blob. Alternative 4 seems pretty beefy. Alternative 5 looks like one of the best. And alternative 6, still don't understand what's going on there. So I like alternative 5. I do want to increase the thickness of that area right there. And I'm going to say OK. And it's going to generate a shape for me. So once it generates that shape, I can then go in, take this new body that was formed. And fusion rule number one says create a component. And fusion rule number two says name it. So I'm going to call that wire. Goodness. And I don't need these bodies anymore, so let's isolate. I don't need the construction plane. Let's look at what we came up with here. This is actually a pretty decent, uh, and I would call it uh, accurate representation of something that uh, would represent a decent wiring harness. And as far as rapid concept development goes, Yes, this is something that could save you a lot of time, could even save you an entire step in your design process and get you to the point where you're able to uh, maybe start 3D printing something right away. Now, this option that I chose is not the same as uh, the one that I showed you originally. I chose option one. I used all of the same bodies and all of the same constraints in this original option that I showed at the beginning of this video but I chose a different uh, approach out of the six different uh, designs that were generated so that's something to consider as you're moving forward when and how to implement AI to try to save you some time in your design processes.